6.8 SPC versus 6.5 Grendel. We're talking some upgrades to your AR-15 on the Ammunition Guides podcast. Hello, friends and lovers. This is Dave Trillo, and you're listening to the Ammunition Guide podcast, brought to you by none other than Ammo.com. Chris, today we're going to talk about a couple of upgrades over to 5.56 that people might consider for their classic AR rifles. Of course, these are that 6.8 SPC and the 6.5 Grendel. The 6.5 Grendel and 6.8 SPC are just two of those rounds that really haven't taken off yet, though they have a lot to offer if you want to upgrade your AR. And if you need any ammunition for your AR-15, make sure you click that link down in the description or the pinned comment. Get your free $20 off coupon from ammo.com so you can keep your AR-15 like this one running happy with lots of food for it. Uh, but yeah, the, the 6.8 and the 6.5, two very close bullet diameters, but really built for two very different purposes. The 6.8 SPC was conceived as, as a replacement for the 5.56 for our military, and the 6.5 Grendel, um, although not introduced as a military cartridge, actually is getting traction in one nation's military. The 6.8 SPC is just that really failure to launch is really the best way I can describe it. Whereas the 6.5 Grendel by Alexander Arms is starting to see some potential traction in, what is it, Serbia, if I'm not mistaken? I believe it is. And I believe Privy Partisan is making plenty of it for that reason. It's really cool, you know, to see these new cartridges get a little bit of traction because they really offer a lot of upgrades to your AR-15 that really the 5.56 can't do. Now, that's not to say that the 5.56 is a bad round. It's been serving us for years in Vietnam and of course, all of the conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, but uh, you know, sometimes you need a little bit more. These two rounds really can deliver the kinetic energy if you need it. Right off the bat, I think the SPC, if it was designed for combat, might be yeah. the more natural pick for a home defender. I have to agree with you on that one, Dave, especially with some of these newer expanding rounds that we have, like a Hornady SST or something like that. Put that on top of a 6.8 SPC, and you've got a pretty powerful rifle cartridge rocking out right around about 1,600 uh, foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle, really made for close quarters combat. Yeah, that will do the trick. But uh, we were talking before this, uh, mm -hmm. actually the 6.5 Grendel is not a perfectly analogous cartridge at a 6.8 SPC. You said its performance is more like the 224 Valkyrie, which would make it more of a long distance target shooting slash deer hunting option than, than for close quarters combat. We were trying to find an analog for the 6.5 Grendel in, you know, another cartridge. And the only thing that I could think of that would fit in an AR-15 was the 224 Valkyrie. Your 6.8 SPC is really kind of a fatter, heavier, hard hitting cartridge. It's really built for up close and personal work. Cool. So, I mean, basic, at, at its most basic, uh, 6.5 Grendel, if, you, if you're looking to, to shoot longer distances, mm -hmm. if, if we had to compare just these two rounds to each other. That said, the 6.5 Grendel would ruin immediate threat to your personal safety. Most definitely. I mean, the 6.5 Grendel is actually packing just a little bit more muzzle energy than the 6.8 SPC. Uh, but, you know, of course, it's got a lot more penetration ability with that 6.5 bullet. Probably going to overpenetrate just a bit more, whereas that uh, SPC is going to hit you know, just as hard approximately and do plenty of damage. Hopefully stay within the target so you don't over penetrate. 6.8 SPC, close quarters combat, 6.5 Grendel's long range. That That's really where I see the difference if I had to put it in, you know, one sentence. Are you going to pay for uh, the 6.5 Grendel's longer range accuracy with a lot more recoil? It's, they're not, it's not that substantially more powerful ultimately than the 6.8 SPC. Mm. Yeah, it really isn't all that much different. Now, I will say that technically the Grendel does have a little bit more free recoil, but we're not talking about a lot here. In your normal, like, six-pound AR-15, which is a lighter one, to say the least, normal, like, 123 grain, 6.5 Grendel round is going to be hitting you for about 11 foot-pounds of free recoil compared to about 9 foot-pounds for your typical 120 grain 6.8 SPC. Those two numbers, they're, they're not going to make you uncomfortable if you're tearing through an entire case of ammo at the range. That's pretty manageable. 
But then we see the 6.8 SPC's lighter recoil offering that much more of an advantage for the close quarters combat application we were discussing. But uh, yeah, really not too much difference as far as recoil. But I would say the biggest difference between the two of these is honestly their long range trajectory, longer range shooting. That's really where these two separate themselves. The 6.5 Grendel is the higher ballistic coefficient round. It's got that longer, more streamlined projectile. Um, it's a little bit narrower, not by much, but, uh, but I think bullet weights, these two are pretty comparable as well, right? Absolutely. You typically with your 6.8 SPC, you're shooting like 120 grain bullet. You can shoot a little bit lighter uh, and the 6.5 Grendel is really built to fire 120 to 123 grain bullet. So like you said, about the same. And to be honest with you, out to about 200 yards, the trajectory on both of these is pretty much equal. There's really not much difference between the two. But when you get out further, uh, you know, like to the 500 yards or something like that, as far as trajectory is concerned, the Grendel's got about 64 inches of bullet drop compared to about 79 for the 6.8 SBC, so about a foot difference. That 6.5 bullet is just so good at long range shooting. It's why they picked it for the 6.5 Creedmoor or the 6.5 PRC. Uh, it's a very aerodynamic bullet, and that's where that really shines when you're shooting out past, you know, three, four, five hundred yards. That's really where you start to see that advantage. To that end, uh, if you were going to pick either of these for deer hunting, it sounds like the 6.5 Grendel's greater accuracy uh, past 200 yards really really makes it the pick. If you're looking for long-range deer hunting, definitely the 6.5 uh, Grendel makes a great option, especially out past 200 yards if you're going to be shooting that far. I would say in thick brush, honestly, I prefer like a 6.8 SPC. But yeah, if you have long open spaces, you're going to be hunting in open range, then yeah, the 6.5 Grendel is definitely the better choice. Both of these make excellent hunting rounds, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I would say in hog hunting, the 6.8 would be my pick for sure. Uh, just you want that little extra bigger bullet because some of these hogs get ridiculously huge. We got to talk about the main... Uh main limiter to any rounds popularity yep. and that's the availability from what i've seen come into our warehouse it looks like the 6.5 grendel is the more popular round it does seem to have a few more options out for it uh the 6.8 sbc you can find it but it is a little tricky uh, now, I will say that initially the 6.5 Grendel would have been harder to find because Alexander Arms likes to trademark their designs. So, yeah, the 6.5 Grendel seems to be a little bit easier to come by nowadays, uh, which is interesting because uh, with all the craze with the new .277 bullets, I would have thought there would be more call for 6.8 SBC, but it really hasn't come through yet. Yeah, and I think even 6.5 Grendel is being loaded by the Russian manufacturers with steel cases, which... Always indicates some uh, some higher demand. Of course, getting ammo from Russia is a bit of a trick now. Yeah, uh, hopefully we're getting that from another source, uh, you know, a non-Russian source. But yeah, once you start getting that steel case cheap ammo, that's a pretty good indicator that the caliber is starting to pick up some steam, at least in my opinion. And uh, it really gives you a nice cheap ammo option that won't break the bank if you want to go shoot through a couple hundred rounds at the range. Chris, I think you talked about this recently, but... Um... You might see 6.8 SPC Mark II ammunition on the market, and that sure to make people scratch their heads. During the release of the 6.8 SPC, Remington kind of botched the chamber design. To put it simply, they didn't give enough free bore space, and it created a little bit of excess pressure. Now, from what I understand, it wasn't substantial, but it was enough to make the military kind of go, oh, wait, hang on a minute, we're out of spec. So instead of fixing the chamber design, Remington's like, well, let's just underload the ammunition. Now to fix this, and so that Sammy would certify the cartridge, Remington came out with what's known as the 6.8 SPC-2. And you'll see that rolls marked on all of your new barrels for 6.8 SPC to indicate that that's the proper chamber design that can take the full power loads of 6.8 SPC ammo. But I'll tell you, any modern ammo right now that you'd find on the market will not be loaded to full pressure just because of all the liability. On that end, I mean, have you reloaded either of these, Chris? Or I haven't yet. I will say the, the beauty of these is the bullets that they use. Uh, both of these calibers are starting to gain a lot of traction, so finding bullets for them shouldn't be too difficult. Is adapting an AR-15 to fire either of these cartridges very complex? I would imagine it's just a barrel and a few other pieces. Absolutely right, Dave. It's a barrel, a bolt, and a magazine, and that's it. Uh, if you wanted, you could even just have an upper dedicated to either one and just swap it on your lower because of the modularity of the AR-15 platform. 
gosh, wrapping it all up, uh, I think I'd have to go with the Grendel if I had to go with one or the other because I've already got so many close range rifle options at my disposal. Totally fair choice, Dave. It's a great round. Uh, of course, obviously, I'm building one in it, so I'm a little partial to it right now. Uh, I would say that it really depends on what you want to do with your AR. If you really want that, you know, maybe you want to build something like an, an AR pistol for home defense or something like that. The 6.8 SBC makes a lot of sense for something along those lines. Or maybe you want a close range deer rifle and you don't want to necessarily get a 6.5 Grendel. Maybe you like the 6.8 better. That's that's a perfectly serviceable choice as well. But if you want to shoot long range targets or do a little bit of longer range hunting, I have to agree with you. The 6.5 Grendel is a great choice. There's a decent amount of ammo on the market right now because it's not as popular as some others and so it's easier to find. And uh, yeah, it makes a great choice uh, for an AR if that's what you're looking to do. And no matter what you go with, make sure you click that like button down below, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you out on the range. <laughs>